Hello everyone, this is Mr. Appel, and today we're going to look at some different uh, ways you can apply trigonometry to solve problems. Uh, that's a fancy way of saying we're going to do some word problems. So here we go. First example, um, we have a guy... Whoa, what was that? I'm going to pick a different tool because that was crazy. I don't know what that sound was. Let's try that again. Okay, we have a guy wire. Got my nice little green arrow here. A guy wire attached to a 100-foot tower. Don't ask me why they call it a guy wire, but that is a thing. So we have a guy wire attached to a 100-foot tower perpendicular to the ground. The wire makes an angle of 55 degrees with the ground. What's the length of the wire? So already your head is spinning. There's a lot going on here. What you need to do with all of these trick problems, or any word problem like this, is draw a picture. So... I see we've got a tower. I've got it makes it's perpendicular to the ground. That's always going to be the case. So right over uh, here is our tower. Here is the ground. And we've got a wire attached to the top of the tower that touches the ground. The tower is a hundred feet tall. So there's your hundred feet. So I'm labeling that. Um, it's perpendicular to the ground. Okay, we said that already. And the wire, so it's the wire here, makes an angle of 55 degrees with the ground. So this is the wire, right? There's the wire. Here's the ground. So the wire with the ground makes a 55 degree angle. So that's going to be 55 degrees. Now the question says, what is the length of the wire? Well, where's the wire? That's the hypotenuse in this case. So, once you've drawn your picture and labeled everything, now you can go ahead and write a trig equation and solve it. As with all trig equations, this is now going to look very familiar, hopefully. You've got one angle that we're going to use, a side that I, that I know, and a side that I want to know. Uh, I always recommend labeling the parts. So, with the 55 degree angle, this uh, this side here, the 100 feet, is the opposite leg. This leg over here is the adjacent one, although we don't need that here. And x, of course, is the hypotenuse. So I figure out that since I'm using op opposite and hypotenuse, that's going to be sine. So my trig equation is going to be sine of the angle is equal to the opposite, which is 100, over the hypotenuse, which is x. So all that work to write the equation, and now we can solve it. Solving it like we usually do, put it over 1, cross multiply, we get x times the sine of 55 degrees equals 100. Divide both sides by sine of 55 degrees, we get 100 divided by the sine of 55 degrees. Question said to the nearest foot, Watch what the rounding tells you. The problem is usually going to tell you what to round to. So when I put that in my calculator and round to the nearest foot, I get 122 feet. I always like to check to make sure that makes sense. Well, if the tower is 100 feet, the hypotenuse should be longer than that because 100 is a leg, hypotenuse is the longest side. 122 definitely seems to work. So there you go. All right, let's take a look at another example. Um, here we have a jet taking off and rising at an angle of 19 degrees with the ground until it reaches 28,000 feet. I recommend pausing here and trying to draw that picture, and then I'll show you how it's done and see if you got it right. Okay, so here's the ground. I've got a jet that maybe started here. It's going up at an angle of 19 degrees until it reaches a height of 28,000 feet. So the height of 28,000 feet is referring to the height above the ground. So the jet is now up here, and the height is the altitude, which is straight down to the ground. So that's where we get our right triangle, because an altitude is straight down to the ground. It's perpendicular to the ground. That's 28,000 feet I'm going to label. Okay, I've said that this angle here was 19 degrees, so I'm going to label that. 
And now it's actually asking us, this problem is asking us two different questions. How much ground distance is covered? Or ground distance, that's distance along the ground. So that's this part right here along the ground. So let's call that x. And then the point-to-point -point distance, and you might not have heard that term before. Point-to-point -point distance is, is the actual distance it traveled. So from here where it started to here where it wound up. So that's the hypotenuse. So this question's asking us, this problem I should say, is asking us two different questions. So I'm going to label that point-to-point -point distance y. So now there's two different questions, two different trig equations. Let me start with the first question, the ground distance. So now we do what we would always do with a trig equation, identify the angle that we want. There's our 19. We want to find x, so I'm definitely interested in that side. And I want to pick another side to use. I'm not going to use y, because I don't know what y is. So I'm going to pick the 28,000. So I need to decide my trig ratio. My angle was, was 19 over here. So the 28,000 is the opposite. I should label that. That's, as I've always said, that's a good strategy. So that's the opposite side. The x is the adjacent side. And y is the, whoops, y is the hypotenuse. Sorry, I messed that up a little bit. Now let me try and write that again. That's a little sloppy. So the y is the hypotenuse. So for x, for this first part of the problem, I'm solving for x. That's opposite over adjacent. So I'm going to write my trig equation. Opposite and adjacent, that's tangent. So I'm going to write the tangent of the angle is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. And once you've got that, it sh should be pretty routine. Put this over 1, cross multiply and solve. We get x times the tangent of 19 degrees equals 28,000. Then we divide both sides by the tangent of 19 degrees. Cancels out, and I get uh, 28,000 divided by the tangent of 19 degrees, which after you put that in your calculator, should give you about 81,317.9 feet. Now this problem didn't tell you how to round, so if you just rounded that to 81,318 feet, that's fine. So that's the answer to this first question, that's 81,317.9 feet. Or if you, again, if you said 81,318, that's fine. Okay, now let's go ahead and find y. So I'm going to clear this out. Okay, so now uh, to find y, to find the point-to-point -point distance, I'm going to use the same angle. Now I'm going to find y, and I'm still going to use that 28,000 feet because that was what was originally given to me. Um, so the 28,000 is the opposite leg. The y we already said was the hypotenuse. So this time, which trig function am I going to use? I'm going to use sine. So the sine of the angle, 19, is equal to the opposite, which is 28,000, over the hypotenuse, which is y. And here we go again. Put it over 1. Put it over 1. Cross, multiply, and solve. I'm going to skip a step and just get right to it. You end up with 28,000 over the sine of 19 degrees, which is about 86,003.5 feet. You might have rounded that to 86,004 feet. That would be fine as well. Um, but that's how you solve a problem like this.